assalamu alaikum in today's lecture we will discuss system of linear equation and matrices so what is matrices a rectangular array that is arrangement of m by n numbers that is real or complex n m rows and n columns is called a matrix of order m by n written in the form of m by n so a m by n matrix is usually written as that is a1 comma 1 a1 to a1 3 up to a1 n so what is a1 comma 1 this element represent first row and first column and what is a1 to this element represent first row and second column similarly a1 comma 3 this element represent first row and third column up to so on type of matrices row matrix row matrix a matrix which has only one row is called a row matrix a row vector that is 1 minus 1 2 3 which is 1 by 4 is 1 by 4 represent one row and four column similarly 2 5 is a matrix is the order 1 by 2 1 represent one row and two column what is column matrix a matrix has only one column is called a column matrix or column vector that is the given matrix 1 2 3 has the order 3 by 1 so in this matrix here three rows and one column similarly the next example minus 1 1 0 4 has the order 4 by 1 uh, means here four row and one column square matrix a matrix in which the number of rows is equal to the number of column is called a square matrix that is the example 1 1 2 3 1 4 5 0 6 has the order 3 by 3 means the number of rows which is equal to 3 and the number of column which is equal to 3 both the number of rows and column are equal so this matrix is called square matrix similarly 1 2 1 4 is the order 2 by 2 means the number of rows is equal to number of column so this is called a square matrix so what is null or zero matrix a matrix in which each element is equal to zero is called a null matrix and it is denoted by o that is means all the element of the given in the given matrix is equal to zero so this matrix is called null matrix or zero matrix what is diagonal matrix a square matrix is called a diagonal matrix if all its non diagonal elements are zero that is so in the given example all the element are zero but the diagonal elements 1 to 4 are non zero elements similarly second example 3005 uh, the elements are zero but the diagonal element 35 are non zero element so this is called diagonal matrix so what is scalar matrix a diagonal matrix whose all diagonal elements are equal is called a scalar matrix that is given in the example uh, 3000300003 uh, here in this example all the diagonal elements are equal uh, similarly the next example 5005 in this example the diagonal elements 5 is equal to 5 so this type example is called scalar matrix and what is identity matrix or unit matrix a diagonal matrix whose all diagonal elements are unity that is one is called a unit matrix or identity matrix and it is de denoted by i so the example of identity matrix which are 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 Uh, here in this example all the diagonal elements are one so this type example is called identity matrix uh, upper triangle upper triangular matrix a square matrix in which all the entries below the diagonals are zero is called an upper triangular matrix that is given in the example so in this example all the elements below the diagonal are zero so this is called a tra upper triangular matrix the next topic is uh, what transpose of a matrix 
The matrix obtained by interchanging the rows and columns of a given matrix A is called the transpose of a matrix A and it is denoted by A transpose. Look at to the example, the given matrix A of order 2 by 3, if you take the transpose on both sides, so we change the row into columns or column into rows, so we can write A transpose is equal to 1, 4, 2, 5, 3, 6. So the order of the given matrix which is 3 by 3 means here 3 rows and 2 columns. Now there are some property of the matrix that is first one A transpose whole transpose is equal to A. Second one AB whole transpose is equal to B transpose A transpose. Third one A plus B whole transpose is equal to A transpose plus B transpose and fourth one k a whole transpose is equal to k a transpose where k is any scalar number. Now to find the determinant of a matrix, if a is a square matrix then determinant of a is represented as d a t of a. Now the given matrix a is 3 cross 3 matrix. We have to find the determinant of the given matrix a so we can write in the form of this uh, d of t d a t of a is equal to 2 1 minus 3 4 3 5 5 4 9 now to find the determinant uh, expanded by r1 which is uh, determinant of a is equal to so the first element of r1 which is 2 so neglect all the, uh, neglect the row and column of the given element so the remaining elements we can write 2 3 5 4 9 the second element uh, of R1 which is minus 1. So neglect the row and column of the given elements. The remaining element are 4, 5, 5, 9. Similarly, the third element of the mm, first row which is minus 3. So neglect row and column of the given elements. The remaining elements are 4, 3, 5 and 4. Now simplifying this, so we can write determinant of A is equal to 2. 3 9s are 27 minus 5 4s are 20 minus 1 4 9s are 36 minus 5 4s are 25 plus into minus minus 3 4 4s are 16 minus 3 5s are 15 after simplifying uh, we get determinant of a which is equal to 0 now what is singular and what is non singular matrix a square matrix a is called singular if determinant of a is equal to 0 and non singular a are invertible if determinant of a not equal to 0. So, in the previous example, uh, we have already proved that determinant of the given matrix a which is equal to 0. Uh, so, if the determinant of the matrix which is equal to 0, so we say that the given matrix a is a singular matrix, and if the determinant of the given matrix a not equal to 0, then we say that the given matrix is non singular matrix. Now the system of non-homogeneous linear equation, a system of m linear equation and n unknown can be written as a11 x1 plus a12 x2 plus up to a1 n xn is equal to b1. Similarly, a21 x1 plus a22 x2 plus up to a2 n xn is equal to b2. So the above system can be written in the matrix form as a11 a12 up to a1n a21 a22 up to a2n and up to a am1 am2 up to amn x1 x2 xn is equal to b1 b2 bm now the, now the solution of the system of linear equation for a system of m linear equation in n unknown there are three possibilities of the solution of to the system the first one the system has unique solution second one the system has infinite solution third one the so solution has the system has no solution when the system of the linear equation has one or more solution then the system is says to be consistent otherwise it is inconsistent now to solve the system of linear equation, we can use the method first one Kramer rule, second gauss elimination method.